today. Let's see if we can solve a little bit of that gap with a little bit of this, this 20 millimeter spacer. So first thing first, we're gonna jack up the car. If you don't have one of these pinch wheel adapters, get one. I will put the link in the description below. You can jack your car up without jacking up your pinch wheel. I jack my car up towards the middle. That way when I jack it up, it brings the rear and front wheels both off the ground at the same time. So you do half the work for double the effort. Always remember to use jack stands. Front wheel, rear wheel. Let's get the wheels off. One of the best investments in the world. I love this thing here. Let's grab the spacer and let's put it on. You will take the included lug nuts and then you will put them on the factory wheel lugs. So after you have all of the included lugs on the factory studs, you want to get you a torque wrench and set it to about 90 foot pounds of torque. Everything is torqued in the star pattern to about 90 foot pounds. So now let's get the wheel back on. And when you put spacers on, you want to make sure that the wheel is sitting flat against the spacer. You can't run a 15 millimeter with the stock studs unless you cut them down. If you want to keep your studs stock length, you don't want to modify them, you have to run a 20, at least a 20 mil spacer. Let's get the lugs back on and we will do the other three in the same fashion. All right, so the spaces are on this side. The lugs are not torqued down. They're just basically hand tight, but that'll be good enough for now. So let's let the car down and let's see how this side, well, let's, oh my goodness. I hope that tucks in there because that is about perfect. I don't have any rear camber. I have Godspeed camber arms and my camber is like negative one to zero. So if you have factory camber arms with no adjustment, you have a natural about negative three, negative two, negative three of your lowered. So yours will be a little bit more sunken in than mine because you won't be at zero but that is like right on the money flush in the front i mean in the rear and the front probably could have used a 25. Ooh. Ooh. oh yeah that's in there perfect that's in there like one finger gap. Oh man, that looks, that looks a whole lot better with that 20 mil spacer. Oh my goodness, that's almost perfect. So I mean, you got two finger gap on the rear with the non-spacer. Two finger gap, the front with no spacer. And then you have a, I mean, I can't turn my finger sideways in the front. And in the rear, I can maybe get it sideways. Oh, that looks nice there. Let's torque the wheels down to about 90 foot pounds. And that's it. here it is like I said and this looks a whole lot better I mean that 20 mil made a whole heck of a difference with the fitment of these factory wheels so I mean for $75 you can't go wrong these factories look good with a little bit of paint and some spacers so until next time think build 
Enjoy. Peace.